Why do people say you deserve the world? This phrase usually pops up around folks who exhibit a treasure trove of positive attributes. It's like when you stumble upon a barista who not only remembers your name and how you take your morning joe, but also asks about that thing you mentioned last week. It's that above and beyond approach to life. Saying you deserve the world is akin to a poetic exaltation of one's virtues. It's about recognizing kindness, generosity, or even a strength that someone has displayed, often in the face of overwhelming odds. It's an acknowledgement that they've contributed something of value to those around them. In the depths of Portland, where the rain can cast a long shadow over the mood of the city, you'll notice that small acts of goodness shine incredibly bright. Give up your seat on a crowded max to someone who looks like they need it more than you, and you'll likely hear a murmur of, you deserve the world, or some variation of it. It's also a reassurance. In our daily grinds, filled with the hustle of making ends meet, the sentiment, you deserve the world, can be what keeps us going. It's like giving verbal acknowledgement that your actions mean something, that they have weight in this ocean of perpetual motion and noise. Yet there's a deeper undercurrent to it, a philosophical nudge. It's a benevolent push, encouraging you to keep being that person, to continue spreading those ripples of positivity. Because maybe, just maybe, it might inspire others to do the same. And while we can't all literally give someone the world, unless you have some deity-level powers you're not telling us about, it doesn't stop people from wanting to gift everything within their means. It's less about the tangible and more about the desire to reciprocate the feeling that person has evoked. So the next time somebody tosses that you deserve the world compliment in your general direction, take a moment to bask in that recognition. Someone's seen your light. Keep shining.